This short video is to explain to you how questionnaires are completed. The process is really very simple, as will be demonstrated. You go to the website and click on to login and enter your username, your LAN username and your password. Click login. You will now be taken to your personal password protected page where there is a tab that says inbox frequently asked questions user guide and a reference to this video the inbox has two tabs one for documents and one for questionnaires questionnaires are of course what we are dealing with you will note that the questionnaire has a title there is a select tab and there is a status tab. The questionnaires that we are looking at are all awaiting attention. If you click on one of the questionnaires you will be taken to the questions that need to be completed. Please note that there is a time limit for completing the questionnaires. That is 60 minutes. If you leave the system dormant for more than 60 minutes without pressing either save or submit, you will be timed out as is indicated at the top of the screen. Whenever you press save or submit, the 60 minutes starts to run again. Going now to the question. The question is, on merger did you hold HBOS as well as Lloyd's TSB shares? And for the answer, there is a drop-down menu where you can select either yes or no. We shall select no. Now, it might be that this questionnaire is longer and that you want to save the answers that you've already entered and want to revert to um, your records in order to get further information so that you can complete the questionnaire because you don't have the answers to hand. If you click on save, the answer that you have entered will be saved and the status of the questionnaire changes from awaiting to in progress. Assuming that you are happy with the questions that you have entered, the answers rather that you've entered to the questions, you press submit. The questionnaire now gets saved to the system and there is text that you should read. The questions are repeated, as is the answer that you have supplied. You can change that answer if you wish to, but assuming that you are content with the answer that you have given, you tick the box confirming that that is so, and press Submit. The questionnaire is now converted into a document, which is a document that is used as a witness statement. There is reflected the question and the answer that you supplied. You fill in, you, you print this document, you fill in your name, the date, and you sign it. And you then post that to Lloyd's Action Now so that it can be filed in hard copy. The soft copy will be stored in your documents folder so that you can always go back to the website and see what documents are awaiting you there as is demonstrated on the video now where this document was retrieved from the inbox of this particular user. That is how questionnaires are dealt with and we ask you whenever you get an SMS message or an email alerting you to the fact that there is a questionnaire awaiting attention that you deal with it.